a parade and celebration like none other. A sea of pirates invaded Tampa Saturday for Gasparilla. People like Letitia Del Judas, at nearly 90 years old, who's been coming for about 10 years. She secured her spot along the parade route hours early. And we have the sign, and they give me a few more extra beads. Give me those beads. I'll tell your grandmother on you. Give me those beads. <laughs> the parade, a signature event that's a staple for the city. This is like Tampa Bay's Mardi Gras for pirates. I heard rumors that there was going to be about half a million people here dressed as pirates, and I'm like, <laughs> people came decked out in their finest pirate gear. I actually made the hat. It, I got it at a resale shop, the base hat, the black one for a dollar, and then I decorated it all myself. Like it's an excuse to like throw on my Halloween costume and go crazy. The parade full of floats, bands. <laughs> Mayor Castor and local law enforcement also passing through. <laughs> and of course, the beads. Benvenuti in Italia. Yeah, man. Beats, spaghetti, and Andrew Windsor flew across the pond from the UK for Gasparilla, and it didn't disappoint. Absolutely incredible. I already, like, the parade hasn't even started yet. I'm already loving it. It's incredible. Yeah. Another year. Gasparilla is the best thing ever happened in Tampa. It's the move. You know, we love Gasparilla. Bringing yet another successful Gasparilla. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.